our next set is Deontay Johnson, Keyshawn Vaughn, and Darius Slayton. Uh, currently going 98th, 102nd, and 104th overall. Uh, who would you keep, trade, and cut out of those three? So clearly cutting Keyshawn Vaughn yeah. because of what we mentioned earlier with, with Ronald Jones. Um, I, I think his ADP is going to fall fall off. And I mean, we put this together two days ago and then the Bruce Arian comments come and then it's like, well, oh, crap. So um, I, I think that's that's pretty clear. Um, but between Deontay Johnson and Darius Slayton, they're very close. Um, my I think it's pretty clear here. Darius Slayton at, what's that? I'm I have a pretty clear opinion on between these two. Uh my rankings I have Darius Slayton at 96 and Deontay Johnson at 97. My rankings uh, I have Deontay at 86 and Darius at 87. Like I have them back to back, but I absolutely right. prefer Deontay to Darius. I agree. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, um, come on. We're gonna argue, you. man. That's what the people want. Well, all right. So tell me why yeah. you agree. So they were both rookies last year. Uh, and Deontay Johnson basically outperformed Juju Smith Schuster um, last year when they were on the field together. He had 92 targets. I think there was 30, 30 wide receivers with over 100 targets last year. So that at least puts him in the conversation um, when you're talking about an ADP around 100 um, and he's going to have close to 100 targets again. That would be great. Um, also, we've talked about their quarterback situation being crappy as being uh, a being nice about it and Big Ben returning. And if you can have him, you know, being more of a, a downfield threat and Big Ben's going to air it out, then I prefer Deontay Johnson. Um, Slayton was wide receiver 35 last year. Johnson was wide receiver 38. Um, Slayton was playing with a substantially better quarterback. Yeah. Um, if, if Big Ben's healthy, then, then I think... You know, depending on how you look at it, I, I would say Deontay Johnson's playing with a, a better fantasy quarterback, um, yep. in in my opinion. So, like, for me, and ultimately when I was looking at this, it really just comes from taking a step back and figuring out, like, where do they fall from a mouth feeding perspective? So, like, the Giants have Tate, they have Shepard, they have Evan Ingram when healthy. So that would put Slayton as the fourth option in that offense. Um, and for Deontay Johnson, you have Juju Smith-Schuster and maybe Eric Ebron. Yeah. But like he, he's, pro he's probably the second option on that team. I don't know. Um, I think Deontay is probably the second option. Right. I, I agree with you. So oh, like, okay. I thought you meant like, when you said he, I thought you were talking about Ebron being the second option. No, no, I, I'm just saying that, like, of the two, like, Ebron's really the only competition there for, dethr like, dethroning him from being the second spot, which isn't going to happen. Yeah, I mean, unless um, he's throwing to James Conner out of the backfield, you know, as as the, the number yeah. two kind of three option. But, yeah, right. no, I don't really see so that. Like the, yeah, right. So just from a, like, pecking order, I, I think you got to go Deontay Johnson just because he's wide receiver two and Darius Slayton is currently penciling in as wide receiver three on his team um, and, and the fourth receiving option. Um, so keeping Johnson, trading Slayton and, and cutting Vaughn um, for those three. Sorry for agreeing with you. Yeah, I guess I would put it like this. I think Deontay Johnson might have the higher floor, but if Darius Slayton can take over and become and mm -hmm. ascend to that number one option. Uh, he might have a higher ceiling. I agree. Uh, maybe it's after a couple games. I don't think Deontay is going to usurp uh, Juju Smith Schuster. Uh, like, I don't think that's going to happen. So that kind of limits his ceiling a little bit for me. I think he's also going to have some really crazy games if Big Ben can come back uh, with some, you know, repaired tendons in his elbow and all that other stuff. Um, Keyshawn yep. Vaughn is in the dust behind these two um you know putting it mildly after any sort of mystery is now gone regarding this backfield like bruce and people i mean maybe we should have known better because like bruce arians what like the guy doesn't like playing rookies he made david johnson sit behind a busted chris johnson in That's arizona for like a full so season like, and uh, who was the other guy the little guy 
can can we really trust Bruce Arians and running backs though? Because like you have that example, and I mean he gave Peyton Barber more carries than Ronald Jones last year yeah. too. So uh, like our, you know that that's two clear examples within the last four years where he's clearly not played the best running back. Um, so I may, maybe Keyshawn Vaughn will surprise us and and get more run. Um, Mm -hmm. if, if they determine that Ronald Jones can't pass block and Keyshawn Vaughn can, and turns into a slightly worse version of, of James White, then yeah, that's possible. But, um, I mean, for me at this point, based on what I know in that backfield, I, I'm not going to be drafting him and I don't think he should be drafted. (laughs) All right. 